What up, Guardians? This is Dog Meat. I'm back again with a uh, little Crucible video for beginners and everything. So, uh, MLG dudes, this may not be the video for you because it's pretty elementary, some of the stuff I'm going to explain and all that. Um, in this video, basically, I want to talk about uh, grenades and how to use them tactfully and stuff like that. Um, like I said, this is more for people that uh, are, you know, beginners or novices at the Crucible. Um, it's just stuff to think about. So, uh, anyways... When I was talking before in some of the past Crucible videos as far as like starting off and learning, uh, going into different 6v6 matches and uh, doing stuff like Control and Rift, um, it's a good idea for you to practice some of this stuff in there because uh, at least you have an idea of like kind of where the enemy's going to kind of be at a little bit, you know. But uh, one of the things like I want to touch base on and everything is uh, since Year 2 you know, has come out and everything, um, grenades have been a lot different so I want to talk about priming and stuff and uh, this is an example right there what you just saw I just primed that guy before I took him out with my gun um, I remember during year one and all that grenades used to be a lot more powerful you know especially on the hunter I used to do like a lot of crucible on my hunter a lot um, blade dancer the arc bolt was my go-to I'd be able to take out three or four guys with one arc bolt but uh, now a days as you're playing crucible and if you don't notice um, the grenades aren't as strong as they were before and uh, you'll be lucky if you could even pop their armor so uh, <clears throat> this is one of the things I want to kind of talk about and everything is just kind of being conscientious of it stuff for you to kind of think about as far as like what's available to you, your different tools and everything like that um, a lot of the times uh, when you go into engagements and stuff uh, you'll either have to reload or you know stuff like uh, Trials of Osiris or Iron Banner uh, their light level may be stronger than yours so they may be able to take a little more damage and everything like that um, this example right here is a good is a good example of what a grenade placement should be like ideally what you'd want out of it but as we all know you know it's crucible and that doesn't happen a lot of times uh, this example is kind of a kill after the thought I actually primed him with my uh, primary we we're actually going toe to toe, and as you can see, I was I got weak. I bounced out, tossed the axiom bolt, and the axiom bolt took him out. That's some of the stuff you want to kind of think about. Um, when I go into engagements and stuff like that, if the guy's like near and they're showing up on radar, and I have something like a tracking grenade or something, I like to kind of toss that in there, be, and you know because that way it'll prime them. It does a couple things. It primes the guy, and if and it also if it if you're uh, you know, if it's a tracking grenade and all that, when you actually hit the guy, you'll see the points that it takes off. So it kind of gives you an idea of like where he's at. Um, for those of you who like to run Hunter, I highly recommend doing the Keen Scout. That is an awesome uh, perk. If you could do a Graviton forfeit like helmet for the uh, Shade Step, and then run your Keen Step, uh, Keen uh, Scout, it'll actually help you with your uh, radar a little bit better. Now this right here, this was kind of some BS. This guy, you can see, he was lagging big time. That melee should have killed him. But as you can see, I put some work on him, primed him before, and the grenade took him out. <clears throat> so that's some of the things to kind of think about. Um, I know myself, and this is me speaking from personal experience, when I first started playing Crucible, I relied heavily on grenade and super kills. But as I progress through my gameplay and everything like that, I'm relying mostly on my gun control and as far as like the grenades and stuff to basically be able to either, you know, slow the person down or finish the job off. Because, you know, if uh, any of you are like me as far as like the gameplay, a lot of times you'll go into engagement and won't think about, you know, your ammo and everything and not pay attention to like, you know, where you're at and you may have to reload. And, you know, this is a good example of a trial of, Trials of Osiris, me using my uh, Sun Singer and everything like that. I prime those guys with the grenades. I prime this guy with a grenade. And I finish the job with my uh, gun. <clears throat> That's some of the things that kind of, uh, you know, start kind of practicing and thinking about. You could do all this on patrol and stuff. I know, like, uh, one guy had a video and just, was just was telling people to go in the crucible and everything like that and uh just you know be try go try hard mode try and kill everybody and everything like that um that's not a really good experience and everything my thing is is like you know you know just think about what you're doing tactfully think about what's available to you and uh have fun